Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another FIFA reviews, FIFA 22 SBC cars reviews um, video on this channel. And in this one, we have a lot to go over from last time. We do have four cards to take a look at here that have been released in the SBCs. Um, as, as I said, we kind of like stock up in the cards, we have a lot to review to make one more video out of it. Um, so, we're starting with Anaki Williams as he is the latest one to be released. Um, Obviously, we went over this one of the 6 p.m. content videos. Um, as you can see, from the base, from like what you see here, he looks decent. Um, and I see that very a lot of people have completed this card, surprisingly. And my original reaction to it was that he wouldn't get bought that not bought. He wouldn't be completed that much because if you take a look, he's worth around 155k. You have to do all these squads for him. As I mean, to be fair, they aren't the highest price rated squads. It's the most expensive, but he's around 155. Um, and as you can see, two-star weak foot, big letdown. That's a big letdown with that card. It is a four-star skill move. Agility and balance isn't too good. Finishing's okay. He's got good pace, good finishing. Passing is very poor. He's got good stamina and strength and jumping, which is very, very good. So don't get me wrong. He's not the worst card in the world. However, in the passing, agility and balance, this is a card that... If people did, um, I can see going out of meta very, very quickly. This isn't a card I expect to be in people's teams for a long while. Now, if you do complete him, um, I guess he'll just be a player to have in your club for a while, for objectives, all that kind of stuff that you may need him for that comes out. But if you're an average consumer of the game and you have yourself an RTG, I don't really know if you should complete this card, especially with the price that he's sitting at. Um, now... You could put an engine on this card to get that agility and balance up, which would heavily increase it. Heavily increase that card a bit. But it doesn't seem worth it to me. Especially when you had in the past. Now be effect here. Kareem Benzema. In my opinion, even though Nyaki Williams is fast, Kareem Benzema is miles above this card. Because Kareem Benzema, even though he's not the quickest, has everything else better than everything else better and that Kareem Benzema can then convert into a cam as well um, where you can't play as a Nagy Williams. Nagy Williams can only play striker maybe on the wing but again he doesn't have that weak foot or agility to play on the wing so in my opinion this card is definitely a card that you pro should probably stay away from even though he'll fit in your squads it's easy to link it's just not the best card, and as the video is going out, you still have to complete him. You're thinking of doing it. I don't think you should. I think you should wait off the app flyer and your club or the coins at the moment to complete them and wait for a better option. Because um, you might see a better option in this video. Um, and now, next one, we do have 88 rated Bernardo Silva. Now, this is one where it's kind of the same thing, not really though, with the stats. The three star weak foot lets him down. He does have four star skill moves. However, I've used gold Bernardo Silva this year, um, and he's very, very good. Very, very good on the ball, as you can see with this dribbling stat. It's got great stamina as well. Um, now, pace and shooting. It's a little bit questionable. However, Man City are going to get the three wins. And they are going to get to the next round. So this card is going to be 91 rated, I think. Um, and for the price he is, around 125k. Now, look at that. Th that's what you have to take, in, like, t take into consideration. This Bernardo Silva card, which is going to be 91 rated with... 95 on dribbling, 90 passing, 83 shooting, and probably like 84, 85 pace with 99 stamina, like 75 physical compared to an Inyaki Williams that can't get upgraded, that doesn't have, and I realize there are some different positions, but still, you see what I'm saying here? It, it, it's a little bit, you can't release that Inyaki Williams and then release this Bernardo Silva, which is guaranteed upgrades that's going to be high rated good stats, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. As well as Bernardo Silva. He has a three-star weak foot, not a two-star weak foot. That's another increase, another advantage with this card. Um, and if you look at the traits as well, he has the flare trait outside the foot shot, which even though you might not see in-game, the flare is just he's better on the ball. So, it's very, very confusing in my opinion. I think this Bernardo Silva is definitely a card that you should complete. I haven't done him yet. I'm still thinking of doing it. I have some time to think about it still. Um, as this account is just an RTG account, that would which is what I do all the time. Um, so I'm thinking about completing them. I just don't know yet. Um, now we, now we're on to a very very good one. 
now. So, I guess overall advice, good links, Bruno Silva, gonna get upgrades, all that kind of good stuff, he will get upgrades. Um, he is easy to link into your team. Go ahead and click this card. Um, Matteo Politano now. 82 and 83 rated squad. Um, wh what can you say about that? That's magnificent value. He's around 45, 60K to complete, depending on which console you're on. Um, look at the stats. Now, th this is the only thing I'll say. He is pretty identical to Insigne. Like, he'll be an 86, 87 rated card. Um, Napoli, I can see getting them to the next. Yeah, I think they have one out of the four. Now they need two more. Um, I can see them getting the three players to be 100%. They can go through in the group 5%. Like, that, that's no doubt. No doubt. Um, as you can see with the dribbling stats. Amazing. Amazing dribbling stats. He's got decent finishing. He's got good passing. He's got pace. Now, this is the thing. He's a right mid. Four star, four star. With preferred left foot. And now, I think I saw John Sims on TikTok talk about this. He has the finesse shot trait. He's a right mid. So he's cutting onto his left foot, which is his preferred foot. The best, the best trait in the game to have is that finesse shot trait. And one of the most meta things in this game is that finesse shot. So, this card is perfect. And he's going to get upgraded, so he's going to be even better. And to take a look at this, too, his curve is already 83. His finishing is already 81. His composure is already 82. Those crucial, crucial, and shot power is 85. Those crucial things that are as well going to get upgraded is massive now that, that that this is like the big thing about this card that's why he's so worth it 82 and 83 in squad this is a card that you could probably just complete with players you literally have in your club like i'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to have enough in their club already not having to spend any coins to do this card it's a hundred percent a card you should complete. i'm going to complete them a hundred percent um, I know I haven't done it yet, but that's because I'm saving it for this video, so I have it here and I completed it already. Um, I'm 100% going to complete this card, um, and you should too, because he's going to get upgrades. Once he like falls out of the meta um, further on through the year, he'll be amazing to have for objectives, but I think he could be in the meta for a bit. That's how good I think this card is going to be, how, how good value this card is going to be. Um, so 100% recommend this card. Go ahead and complete him cheap insanely mad at the moment he's got everything four star four star everything you need he'll have um now on to seco fafana now he's the Lego player of the month the first one of this year <sighs> looks like a very good card from the front right very very good card now um as as it's good that these videos i wait for them to be released this card's been out for a few days and although many people are like oh yeah he's a solid he's a solid center mid um he's a, he's a good, he does a good job for me um there's a lot of people that are like, is he worth the coins? No. In my opinion as well, he's not worth the coins. Because even though he's got insane stats, he plays for Lens and he's Ivorian, which is hard to link. Uh, you'd have to only use, uh, let's go, that's Klaus. And you would have to link him with Kamara. Which, you know, it's not ideal. Because, uh, again, Kamara and Klaus are not necessarily the best ones to have even at this stage they're not good enough like those left backs those fullbacks are not good enough at all um so this Fafana card even though it's unreal even though you could just do a full league on team which i that's the thing i haven't seen a full league on team you could link him with a mob and neymar and just have him on seven chem and that's what you can do but again are people gonna be able to afford a mob and neymar right now no and that's like the main thing Thing. You could also link them to, uh, I mean, Hakimi, Kempebi Marquinhos. You could just have them on 6 chem there, 7 chem there, 8 chem there. Um, that's what you can do. But, again, not the best. He is worth around 170k, I think. 150, 170k, somewhere around there. And this week, out of the card. Obviously, on real stats. There's no questioning that. Here's our skill moves in a 4-star week, but obviously, this guy will be a holding CDM for you. He won't be a box-to-box. -box. He'll be a CDM. Uh, intercept all that kind of stuff in front of the back four. Um, that weak foot's good to have, obviously, so he's not really going to struggle with that, as well as having good composure. He's not going to struggle in that area. Two star skill moves, as I said, really doesn't matter. 6 1 as well, so he's got height. But in general, you could just use Renato Sanchez. Like, you could use Renato. 
Again, I, I'm going based. Originally, I saw this car. I was like, this would be a very, very good car. I think a lot of people are going to complete this car. It's not been the case. And just thinking about it more and more, too, he's just, it's a little bit a little bit too expensive compared to the value of SBCs that we've been seeing. Um, you got to be smart with what you're doing. And this car is not necessarily the smartest thing to do. So, in my opinion, you shouldn't complete this. So, overall review of this video, don't complete a Nike Williams. Um, complete Bernard de Silva, complete Battaglia Palatano, and don't complete Seco Fafana. So, it's two for two here. We have four in this episode. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff. It would be very much appreciated. I will very much appreciate it. Thank you guys for 50, 50 subs, and I'll catch you in the next one very soon. We have some more cards. I'll see you then.